what's happening everybody uh almost end of the year so i know it's been a minute since i dropped the video but a lot of things have been going on it's been busy uh holidays are passing us by new boat situation all that good stuff but uh anyhow it's sturgeon time and um here we are with another video so check out the new shirt i got some new stuff coming out if you guys like it i got all the logos and it's reflective um ink whatever you want to call it that's coming up hoodies shirts all that good stuff but uh yeah it's been good so far we've been getting some fish again a lot of big fish this year so that's been good but anyhow yeah i just wanted to go over a few things uh yes i'm running a new boat uh there's been some confusion mix up i don't know everybody thinks i bought a brand new boat not entirely uh me and a good and a good buddy of mine kind of partnered up on it uh so it is a brand new boat but it's not entirely all me as of now but i am running it so it's a 2022 Hughescraft ocean pro the 240 the 240 ocean pro um it's fast it's brand new it's got a lot of comfortable seating um and anyhow if you guys want to come out and, and join us on a sturgeon trip you know we're doing the Jurassic park thing so uh, yeah, I'll put info for that. You guys can book trips, all that good stuff. And then, uh, come springtime, we'll do halibut and all that good stuff again. So, but yeah, um, that's what's new. Um, no longer Ron and Barbarossa. He's actually putting up for sale. So if you guys want a, want a nice boat, it's up for sale. I'm sure Justin, you know, might be getting some offers on it. But, uh, anyhow, yeah. So let's get into sturgeon fishing. So you're going to see this video here quite a few fish we've got uh i'm gonna break it down into two separate videos but uh one thing i must say again uh that i've noticed a lot this year this season is god some people just need to have a little bit of decency when you cruise by hauling ass at full speed like i said before don't be that guy okay um that does nothing but scare fish away for you and me you know people think it's cool to travel 25 30 miles an hour right next to me when you have all this open space to fish um it's yeah it sucks but uh yeah it is what it is you guys want to do that that's fine you know it uh it is what it is cycle as you guys know i've been working with the coolant for the past three years or so so uh i love the rods they handle a lot I've put them to some extreme abuse and still haven't been able to break one. But uh, this is my primary setup that I'm using myself and on um, the boat for charters. It's an Akuma Monterey. This is the 801 medium. This one is a 10 to 20 pound rod. It's pretty light, but really good for seeing that light bite. I have, a, I have it paired with an Akuma Kavala. This is the five narrow, it's a two speed reel and it's loaded with 65 pound braid as you see i got the all black leader on there this one i believe is the 200 pound leader and uh yeah it's pretty beefy but start getting into these fish that like to roll and jump i'd rather them roll and jump on this versus on the main line um one of the clips you'll see i think in the next video uh you'll see one of the fish that uh just was rolling and going crazy and leader took all the abuse you know i know some guys like to run those short leaders those 18 inch leaders but uh just imagine what happens when that fish jumps and rolls and all that and it lands on your main line and those diamonds the scoots will pretty much tear up your uh your braid and you'll lose your fish but there it is right there these are all hand tied you know 200 pound liter yeah it's it's pretty beefy so uh let me know if you guys need some of these i'll be making a few more before the year's done but uh anyhow hope you guys enjoy the video um like i said it before my previous videos surgeon fishing is not easy it's not um one of those things you can just put a line in the water and expect to catch them first day Okay. I've been doing this a long time. I've had plenty of great help from a lot of like close friends. Um, 
some good captains, like Captain Paul, uh, Boss Hog. He's been a big influence. Also, like I said before, these guys, even though I haven't read it, but I learned a lot from these guys personally. There's a lot of knowledge in there, but with any kind of fishing, you, you put your time into it, get out there, get some time in the water, you learn the fishery, learn the waters you're fishing in, you start picking up the patterns, where these fish like to go, you know, where they're gonna be on outgoing tide or incoming tide, what kind of baits to use. Um, also proper bait handling is huge. I've said it before, I'll say it again. Um, yeah, don't be afraid to use a lot of bait, you know? These things like to gorge, so. If you come out with me, you'll see I'll put four, five, six go shrimp on a hook at a time, you know? I know that sounds crazy, but I also buy like five or six dozen a trip, so. Um, yeah, you guys gotta get out there, put some time in, you know? Have respect for others when they're fishing. I try to slow down for everybody that's on anchor, because, yeah, I don't wanna be that guy. But there's always that one guy that has to be that guy. So, anyhow, you guys enjoy the video, and uh, anyhow, enjoy the video, guys, and I'll see you hopefully next week for the second sturgeon video. Uh, that'll probably drop in the new year. So, if you guys want to book a trip, hit me up. Uh, I'll put the info down below, or you can go to dailyscastfishing.com, and you can book your trip now and all that stuff. There's a little button that says book now. You'll see it on there. Um, other than that, we'll see you in the water, guys. Later. Find the right or the left. Just got hooked up. Just got a uh, fish. Oh, yeah. Some if he runs, let him run. Okay, but just get yeah. back. Okay. Yes, I'm going to come Then keep it bent, bent. Next round. Yeah. Right. Damn, the rock up the bend the other way. Okay. Yes. Part of the rod of your waist. Right. That pressure on him. Really? Okay. And he's not running. That's your chance to reel. Remember, you got a guy that line, okay? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you wanted a surgeon, <laughs> huh? You wanted one. Keep running, keep running, keep running. Keep it tight. Yeah, don't, don't let, no slack. Keep it right up. I see. There you go. Go ahead and face him, face him, face him. There you go. If he's not running, we can reel, okay? He's on there. No, he's on there. Keep going, keep, keep going. Reel, 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 reel. No, he's on there. He ain't going nowhere. Walk forward. There you go. Keep the rod bent. Keep it like Keep reeling, just keep reeling. There you go. I see. Nice and slow, just steady reel. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah, don't put your hand on the line though. Let him let him run. Only time you have your hand on the line is when you're reeling it. Oh, he's off to the left. Okay. Yeah. Come on, Papa. Make it easy, okay? Put the, the pressure on. Try to keep him away from these other rods, okay? So, what you can do when he's not, when he's not running, lift up. Reel down, lift up, go down, just try it. Reel down. That's a nice one too. Yeah. Keep reeling, keep reeling. There you go. Keep reeling, keep reeling. There you go. Over. Go, go, over. Over. go over, go in the middle, right in the middle. There you go. Keep reeling. He's in the other line. Go which one? Right side. Corner. Right up. Over or under? Under. Uh, uh, yeah, you're good. 
What he said was, it's a great fish, it's a great spur. <laughs> Keep going, keep going, keep real, real, real. When you get close, yeah, just stay here, okay? I'll tell you what's going to work. Point to the right, point to the right. There you go. Keep to the right, keep it right out. Yeah. There you go, keep it like that. Yeah, you're gonna turn them, okay? Back a little bit. A little bit. Yeah, that's okay. Ooh. Okay. Point it that way. Away from the boat. Away from the boat. Okay. Away from the boat. Keep your eyes Come over here more. Right in the middle. Right there. Right there. Bro. Right little by little, okay? Get the entire out. Okay. When it gets close, I don't know if that's, that's fucking big, man. Uh, 
Uh, he's close, dude. He's close. Okay, so just need you to walk back, okay? Reel down some more. Reel down some more, just a little bit. Get that weight closer to the tip of the rod, okay? Now reel, reel it down. Okay, pretty free spool. I just need to watch the rod. Yeah. I'm gonna need help here. Watch that net, sir. Grab the net off the frame. Let me get back. Right there. Yeah, that's definitely too big. Holy shit. <laughs> we'll get the measuring thing out. Where's it at? Gotcha. Yeah, I'll get it right now. Hold it right there. Put your hand on it. I see, there you go. Can push the head out a little bit. There you go. <laughs> Sorry, I got pictures. He's been sliding. Let's get him back in the water. Motherfucker. I'm sorry, I'm laying on the rail. Slowly. What, the 68 feet? 65. 65? Yeah. How big is it to you keep? 40 to 60. They're about five inches too big. If it would have been back in the day, we were able to keep them at 66, that would have been a good one. Yeah. Thank you. Ya no quiero. Not good with that. <laughs> Recast for a shot. He's running like. He's getting, I'm, I'm dragging now. Okay. He's getting close. He's going to come this line. Check out He's on this line here. He's on this one. Where are you going to bite? One or the other. He's on it. Oh, he was on it. Where do you want me to go? Where are you going? This way. Okay. Hold this for me. Yep. Got that. Hold your feet. Yep. Got it. I'm 